Hey all, it's Brett Sullivan. It's 2022. I thought I'd make things right by redoing, sort of, the video that you guys have been watching, Kramer versus EVH guitars. I love the Kramer guitar. I love the weight. I love the body. I love the feel. I just love the fact that I took a $500 guitar and I got it for $500 on Reverb on a really good day, a really good price. Had it painted, got a detone on there, got the 5150 logo, made it look as close as I could to the original Kramer that Van Halen used. Here we have an EVH guitar. Now in the last video we had an EVH 5150. This is the EVH Frankie. EVH Frankie, of course, everybody knows, comes with the flagship Van Halen pickup. I had dropped the tone zone in my guitar, and while some people you know, played along, a lot of people didn't dig the fact that I took the Seymour Duncan out, so we put the Duncan back in, and we're gonna go head-to-head -head once again with tone samples with the Kramer that's been painted to match the Eddie Van Halen Kramer, and of course, we've got the EVH Frankie. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the gear I'm using. So right now, we're using a really cool modded head. This is built by Am Amplified out of Chicago. Real cool head that gets really modern JCM 800 territory. Uh, but with me loading it down using my favorite presets from the Torpedo load box, we get as close as I can to that brown sound on a Van Halen 1 to my ears. A little EQ, a little boost in that signal. We're also using a nice classic sounding homebrew phaser. Uh, this is a silo side by Homebrew. And then really subtle delays and pitch in the mix with a brand new flagship pitch pedal from Eventide. So I'm um, running both the EVH and the Kramer right into the front of this flanger. This is the Barracuda flanger just for that unchained swooshing sound and at the beginning of Mean Streets. And then I'm running to the phaser and then directly to the head loading it down to my Logic Pro Studio. I'll stick around to the edge of the video so you can see once again the guitar I think is better. Let's go check out those sound samples. Thank <laughs> you. 
opinion has an iconic 80s sound. It's very versatile when it comes to playing your style and then turning around and doing the Van Halen. The EVH, however, is just for playing EVH song. Those of you that complained, we put the Duncan JB back in. In my opinion, the Kramer still sounds like a Kramer iconic 80s shredder sound. And the EVH with its EVH pickup still sounds and nails those EVH tones in the recording. On stage, this is my choice. The weight, the feel, the grooves that are in the body are just slightly different than the EVH body. I just love that feel. And it just, to me, resonates with that classic EVH look. Whereas this is more relatable to the 1978 vibe. And then you'd see uh, him strap on this Frankenstein in various videos and famous pictures. So I'm glad you stuck around to watch my little video comparing Kramer versus the classic iconic EVH Frankenstein. Hope to see you guys in a future video or see you rocking out on stage with one of these really cool guitars at your gig. Signing off. Till next time, sayonara. Happy 2022.